Hello, today I shall talk on synthesis of bile acid and bile salt and then the intrahepatic circulation of bile acid or bile salt and the most important clinical importance of bile acid that is bile salt diarrhea. The synthesis of bile acid from cholesterol. The cholesterol is the substrate from where the bile acid synthesis at the very first level there is the enzyme 7 alpha hydroxylase this is the rate limiting enzyme of bile acid synthesis pathway so this is the number one question you may be asked in your any exam 7 alpha hydroxylase which catalyze the conversion of cholesterol into 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol and here the vitamin c is the cofactor so deficiency of vitamin c may decrease the conversion of cholesterol into 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol now the 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol converted into primary bile acid that is called cholic acid and sino deoxy cholic acid so these two are the primary bile acid the sino sorry cholic acid and sino or kino deoxycholic acid are conjugated with amino acid taurine and glycine taurine and glycine these two are amino acid actually taurine taurine is derived from cysteine cysteine another amino acid so these taurine and glycines are conjugated with cholic acid and sinodeoxycholic acid and they form four total four primary bile acid they are taurocholic acid that is this taurine conjugated with cholic acid taurocholic acid and this glycine with cholic acid form glycocholic acid so these two on the other hand the conjugation of taurine with sinodeoxycholic form taurodeoxycholic acid and conjugation of glycine with sinodeoxycholic acid form glycodeoxycholic acid form glycosinodeoxycholic acid sorry sino bakino d oxycholic acid so these four are the primary bile acid actually they bind with sodium and potassium and form bile salt so these are the four primary bile acid another important question you will be asked in your exam taurocholic acid glycocholic acid toro sinodeoxycholic acid and glycokinodeoxycholic acid and these primary bile acid bind with sodium or potassium and form sodium or potassium salt of bile acid that is called bile salt bile salt are more water soluble that is hydrophilic they are more water soluble than bile acid now these primary bile acid with their bile salt goes to the duodenum through the common bile duct in the duodenum this bile acid primary bile acid and bile salt become deconjugated by the action of gut organism and form secondary bile acid i repeat again the deconjugation of primary bile acid occurs in the small intestine followed by formation of secondary bile acid and this is carried out by gut microorganism so what are the secondary bile acid there are only two secondary bile acid they are deoxycholic acid and lithocholic acid deoxycholic acid 
and lithopolic acid. The another important question this is what are the secondary bile acid. Now from the terminal ileum about 95 percent of primary and secondary bile acid along with their bile salt are absorbed and then the absorbed bile salt and bile acid goes to liver and again they are secreted into the small intestine through the common bile duct and this is called enterohepatic circulation. Actually from the GI tract more than 95 percent bile acid and bile salt are absorbed and only less than 5 percent bile acid and bile salt are excreted through the stool and this is the way of excretion of cholesterol from your body through the stool. This is the only way of excretion of cholesterol. So, if more and more bile acid or bile salt are excreted, that means more and more amount of cholesterol is excreted through the histol. Now, what are the function or utility of the bile, that is bile acid or bile salt? Actually, the number one function of bile or bile acid is it helps in the digestion and absorption of fat. Actually, fat digestion and absorption is helped by the bile acid and this is called bile, sorry, fat emulsification. And what I said, it is the way of cholesterol excretion through stool. So this is all about bile synthesis and its enterohepatic circulation. Now the clinical importance of bile acid. Bile acid diarrhea. You may hear about this bile acid diarrhea. Sometimes a few patients comes to us with recurrent uh, watery diarrhea and then we think what are the cause of watery diarrhea. There are long list of watery diarrhea and among them the bile acid diarrhea is one of the major cause. So what is bile acid diarrhea? Actually what I already said the more than 95 percent bile acid or bile salt is absorbed from the terminal ileum and the bile salt or bile acid is toxic in the large gut that is your colon. If more than normal amount of bile acid or bile salt pass to your colon, then the bile acid and bile salt will be toxic for your colon and the toxicity increase the secretion of fluid and electrolyte into the colon. So, if bile salt is not absorbed from the small intestine due to any cause, then higher amount of bile salt or bile acid pass to your colon. In the colon, bile acid is toxic and it increases the secretion of water and electrolyte and leading to watery diarrhea. Now, the question is what are the cause in which bile acid absorption is decreased? These are the important cause of decreased bile acid absorption from the small intestine. Actually bile acid or bile salt is absorbed in the terminal part of the ileum. So if there is a small bowel dissection or patients suffer from Crohn's disease, chronic pancreatitis, post cholecystectomy that is uh, after operation of cholecystectomy celiac disease, a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, a small intestinal bacterial, bacterial overgrowth and sometimes it may occur as idiopathic. So these are the cause where bile acid absorption may be decreased and the high level of bile salt or bile acid causes watery diarrhea. So what are the clinical features of bile 
acid or bile salt diarrhea already i mentioned the patient usually uh, present with watery diarrhea watery diarrhea and steatorrhea of course fat malabsorption occurs that means decrease fat digestion and absorption leads to steatorrhea and this prolonged steatorrhea with watery diarrhea leads to significant weight loss and the most importantly two stone form the gall stone renal stone why why gall stone and why renal stone actually when bile acid absorption is decreased then in the gall bladder concentration of cholesterol increase and this high level of cholesterol in the bile in the gall bladder precipitate and form a stone cholesterol stone okay so high cholesterol in gall bladder causes cholesterol stone formation and in the renal stone there is formation of oxalate stone why in normal physiology in your large gut oxalate bind with calcium and form calcium oxalate salt and precipitate and passes through stool but in case of reduced bile acid absorption the high level of bile acid passes into the clone and the high level of bile acid bile acid combine with this calcium and form the calcium bile acid salt leaving the high level of oxalate free and this free oxalate is absorbed from the clone so oxalate level increase in the blood and this oxalate high level of oxalate in the blood pass through the kidney and form renal stone oxalate stone of course okay now how will you investigate this patient bile acid absorption test though it is not done usually but there is a specific test which is called bile acid absorption test cilium homocholic acid taurin ac a scat this is the name of the test very important for your exam question selenium a scat and another 7 alpha hydroxy cholesterol level is increase in the blood how will you treat this patient treatment of the patient as the patient present with watery diarrhea so diarrhea control is the main uh, matter so acid bile acid sequestration uh, can control the diarrhea so what are the bile acid sequestration number 1 cholestyramine it is used mostly another on cholestifol and cholecivelam cholecivelam so these three these three are the bile acid sequestrant it is a question from pharmacology what are the bile acid sequestrant cholestyramine cholestifol and cholecivelam if uh, these are not available then aluminum hydroxide may be a good alternative this is the end of this video if you think this video is uh, um, uh, uh, helpful for you then uh, you may subscribe this channel thank you thank you very much